Welcome to UR. This is Kalpana, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Assistant Professor, RMD Engineering College. Students, today I am going to discuss about the topic Transducer, Unit Number Five. Content, Introduction, Advantages, Characteristics of Transducers, Transducer Selection Factor, Classification of Transducer, Active and Passive Transducer. capacitive transducer transduction principle and resistive transducers so the introduction of the transducers the transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another form so this is the definition of the transducer it's a very simple definition the transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another form but in our unit we have to concentrated on electrical signal so therefore the transducer which is used to convert one form of energy into electrical quantities the electrical quantities such as voltage or current so this is the example of the uh, transducers so let us take pressure the pressure is a physical quantity so the input of the pressure is in transducer so the transducer it's converts physical quantity into electrical quantity which means voltage okay so the introduction part the next one is advantages of the electrical transducers are so power requirement is very low for controlling the electrical or electronic system Yeah, the transducers, the amplifiers may be used to amplify the electrical signals, and frictions get minimized. Then inertia effect is also minimized. Then output can be indicated and recorded remotely for the sensing element. The characteristics of transducers. So there is a different types of characteristics. The first one is rigidness. second one is linearity which means the output is proportional to the input and repeatability you check the values the output signal is same as the input signal again and again third one fourth one is i output signal quantity the quality of the signal should be good next one is i reliability and stability good dynamic response no hysteresis and last one is residual deformation so these are all these characteristics of transducers now next one is how to select the transducers because there is a number of transducers out there so depends upon our application we have to choose the transducers the first one is operating point we are electrical oriented so therefore we will concentrate more on electrical quantities such as resistive inductive capacitive optoelectric piezoelectric etc second one is sensitivity it's enough to produce deductible output then operating range you have to check the range of the operation then accuracy the accuracy is very important for transducers cross sensitivity so sensitivity is measure, measuring the accurate value and error so to re, to avoid the error to avoid the error is a describe the transfer functions next transients and frequency responses loading effects environmental compatibility insensitivity to unwanted signals okay. so next so classification of transducers the transducer can be classified as active and passive transducers analog and digital transducers on the basics of transducer principles used primary and secondary transducer and last one is transducer and inverse transducer so let us see the um, structure of the classification of transducer that i already we discussed the transducer is divided into four different blocks so one is for basics of principle used which means it's divided into capacitive resistive and inductive active and passive primary and secondary transducers analog and digital transducers so transducers may be classified according to their application and method of energy conservations so active and passive transducers so active transducers which means do not need any external power source 
is called as an what self generating type transducers okay the active transducer do not need any external power sources the example is a uh, temperature strain cause electrical potential so these have been do not require any electrical sources so this is an example of the active transducer so now see this transducer um, the pressure will be the stress will be given so with the help of based upon the stress the voltmeter will get deflected which means the stress is applied to the cr the voltage will be deflected so here there is no external sources required now the classification of active transducers so active transducers again they classified into photovoltaic thermoelectric electromagnetic piezoelectric chemical and others now passive transducers again the passive transducers need external source of power from their operations so let us see this animative diagram the moment here the primary coil and two secondary coils are there so the moment of the core the electrical energy is generated which means the displacement it's converted into the electrical energy so the moment of the displacement the sinusoidal waveform is increases okay so now here the example of the passive transducers are resistive capacitive inductive or electrical power quantities is to be measured okay now passive transducers again classified into resistance reactants auto electronics and hall effect types so variable resistance is there is divided into two types <coughs> strain gauge then thermistor potentiometer and photoconductive conductor <clears throat> then variable reactants inductive and capacitive again inductive is divided into the variable reactants variable permittivity and lvdt then optoelectronics is classified into photoemissive and photoconductivity so let us discuss about the what is the meaning of primary and secondary transducers so primary transducer which means first there is a two stages are there the first stage is primary and second stage is secondary transducer the first stage is contains mechanical the second stage contains electrical okay so now how it is so the first the transducer the mechanical as well as electrical devices the first stage the mechanical device converts the physical quantity into the mechanical signal so this mechanical device are called as a primary transducers which means uh, the physical quantity one form of energy is converted into mechanical energy it's called as a primary transducer then another stage we converted into electrical signal so therefore the electrical device that converts mechanical signal into corresponding electrical signal so such devices is called as a secondary transducers so example of the um, example of the uh, primary and secondary transducers so let us take diaphragm is act as a primary transducer diaphragm is nothing but is a mechanical transducer is here the diaphragm is converts pressure into displacement where displacement is nothing but mechanical signal again displacement is then converted into to change the resistance using strain gauge so we will discuss strain gauge later so this is called as a secondary transducer so listen guys the diaphragm is a primary transducer it converts displacement which means mechanical signal again the displacement is converted into change of resistance using strain gauge okay that is called as a secondary transducers the classification of the transducer transduction principle capacitance transduction electromagnetic inductive piezoelectric electric photovoltaic and photoconductivity transduction so first one is capacitive transducers 
so capacitive transistor is a solitary vino so there is simple capacitance means there is a two parallel plates is separated by this dielectric medium and the capacitance is mainly used for to store electrical charges so here there is in three types of an capacitance are there one is for the two parallel plates another for the blue is indicates for this movable and yellow is indicates for the fixed plate similarly here is also blue is indicates for movable and yellow is indicates for this fixed so now the the formula of the capacitance is equal to epsilon not epsilon not a by d where epsilon not is called as an permittivity absolute permittivity and epsilon r is relative permittivity and d is a distance of the plates and a is an effective of the area of the capacitance plates now so in this formula you know the capacitance is directly proportional to the area and inversely proportional to the distance which means you change the area means the capacitance value is increases you change the distance means the capacitance value is either increases or decreases or depending upon the distance so let us see the there is in two types so the transducer using the changes in area of plate okay now you look at this diagram this is a fixed metal block and this is the movable tube there is in two distances one is for uh, the area of the plates will be changes and here this is an input is called as a displacement which means mechanical signal now how the mechanical signal is converted into electrical now here see this arrow mark increases which means this direction is indicates for increases which means the displacement this moving tube is move inside to this fixed metal block means the output voltage will get maximum the outwards of the moving tube is considered as an decreases which means the output voltage is decreases so area of the plate is normally the capacitance so capacitance is directly proportional to the area which means the which means sorry so which means uh, the area of the plate is increases means the capacitance value is also increases so it depends upon this fixed plate the movement of the displacement is converted into this electrical signal so capacitive transducer which means it converts the displacement into the electrical signal so this is the formula c is equal to epsilon a divided by t where x is nothing but length of overlapping part of the plates and w is the width because area formula width into length now you find the sensitivity answer s is equal to the rho c divided by rho x so finally you get the answer for epsilon omega by t f by m is an unit so so before that this is an um, now you move on to this angular displacement so here this will be represented as a linear displacement this will be represented as a linear displacement now the next type is angular displacement so angular displacement is look like as a rotating part is the same concept only the movable plate and fixed plate the fixed based upon this movable plate it will be changes the displacement into electrical energy now here the this is an angular motion so therefore uh, the radius will be indicated similarly theta because 180 degree is a complete rotation now here this graph is indicates for the capacitance is directly proportional to displacement so therefore the capacitance is increases similarly the displacement is also increases the angular moment changes the plate is overlap the capacitance value is increases which means electrical signal is also increases the c is equal to epsilon a divided by d the um, this is a circular motion so therefore the area formula is pi r square by 2 
now c is equal in terms of angular displacement you replacing the pi in terms of theta theta is nothing but displacement of angular displacement now you find the sensitivity answer s is equal to dou c divided by dou theta so your answer is epsilon r square divided by 2t so the second step the changes in distance between the plate so already you know the capacitance formula c is equal to epsilon a divided by d so here d means is inversely proportionality so which means inversely proportionality means if the distance is varies increases or decreases means the capacitance value is also it may mean so here there is a two plates the one plate is fixed and another plate is movable so the displacement is the distance of the moving plate and um, fixed plate so again the displacement is converted into the electrical energy so in this graph is clearly indicated the capacitance value is decreases the while the displacement value is increases okay now advantages of the capacitive transducer it required extremely small forces to operate and high sensitivity they have good frequency response high resolution high input impedance and uh, number of applications such as a magnetic field inductive transducers useless and disadvantages of capacitive transducer metallic plate must be properly insulated and frame must be earthed they should non linear behavior due to the edge effect the sensitivity to temperature affecting their performance instrumentation circuitry which these are transducers or complex the capacity of this transducer may changes with the presence of dust particles and moisture now inductive transducers so inductive transducer the measurement is converted into sorry changes in the self inductance of a single coil is by the displacing the core of the coil that is attached to the mechanical sensing element so let us see this example the piezoelectric induction already we discuss about this example the piezoelectric induction the measurement is converted into a changes of electrostatic charges or voltage is generated by the crystal when mechanically stressed okay now this arrow mark is indicate for this stress now in this piezoelectric induction is a defined as the stress is converted into the electrical signal the stress is converted into the electrical signal the stress which means the mechanical energy so the mechanically the stress it it will convert it into the voltage so based upon the stress the voltage value is increases if the stress is increases the voltage value is also increases so look at this diagram the stress the voltage value is increases okay now so similarly photovoltaic transducer which means already you know the sunlight the light energy it's converted into the electrical energy the photovoltaic transducer is measured to convert voltage generation voltage generation when junction between two dissimilar materials is shown in this figure you just see okay now the there is a two dissimilar material so this is will be considered as an two dissimilar metal plates so the plus is a uh, indicate as an holes and minus is indicates as an electrons due to this presence of this sunlight the electron holes recombines with each other if the electron holes is recombines means what happen the current is generated so that's why the based upon this light energy it's converted into the electrical energy
same thing only happen here so the pro the steps will be indicated here so first the p type and n type structure i mean semiconductor the p type the majority charge carriers is holes and the n type the majority charge carriers is electrons the blue is indicates for the uh, depletion region now so there is no source okay now the sunlight will falls on the semiconductor material now the electrons and holes recombines with each other then electrons will be flow through the bulb and it will converts into the electrical energy which means the light energy is converted into electrical energy which means a photovoltaic generation now the classification of transducer the photoconductivity transduction so the um, in the photoconductivity transduction it's convert change in resistance of uh, semiconductor material by the change in light incident on the material this is also same only transducers and inverse transducer transducers already you know is a one form of energy into electrical signal and inverse is what just is an inverse it's converts electrical quantity into non electrical quantity or physical quantity so passive transducers a passive transducer is a resistive transducer so resistive transducer those transducer due to the some physical phenomenon what are the physical phenomenon r is equal to rho l by a r is equal to rho l by a is a physical formula of the resistance r is a resistance of the conductor l is the length of the conductor and a is the area of the cross section of the conductor and rho is the resistivity of the conductor material okay this is an important formula so based upon this formula only the resistive transducer which converts the physical quantities into electrical energy what are the physical quantities in resistive transducers rho l by a where rho is a resistivity l is a length of the conductor and area a is the area of the cross section so resistive transducer there is a four important types one is a potentiometer second one is strain cast thermistor and resistive thermometer so let us discuss about this potentiometer the potentiometer is already you know it's a variable resistance here this arrow mark is indicates for the wiper which is used to change the resistance value so if the resistance value is changed means the voltage value is also changed because v is equal to i into r means the resistance value is changed means the voltage value is also changed so based upon this wiper what happen the physical quantities is converted into the electrical quantity now the consist of resistive element provided with the sliding contact the sliding contact is called as an wiper there is a through two types of uh, potentiometer one is for rotational and another for linear so this is called as a linear and this is called as a rotary potentiometer but both the uh, concepts are same only by varying the wiper the resistance value is changed means the electrical quantity value is also changed that's all now there is a potentiometer um, so let us take uh, two resistance r1 by r2 input voltage and output voltage we have to taken for this output voltage here yeah. so output voltage is equal to uh, same equation the output voltage is equal to so potential divider for voltage divider formula r1 divided by r1 plus r2 into input voltage so r1 divided by r2 into in, in, input uh, voltage so output voltage is equal to the ratio of the resistance and divided by total resistance so in terms of this is for linear displacement so let us write for the angular displacement means you replace r in terms of theta so e out is equal to theta divided by theta max into e